Hey YouTube, Prof Sales, coming at you with another video. And today's video is another installment of my Fact or Fiction series. For those of you who don't know, this is a series where I tackle certain, shall we say, conventional wisdom in the reselling community. And I give you my take on these ideas and concepts and whether or not I think that these ideas are facts or really represent fiction. So today, I thought I would talk about a, a statement that I've heard from another YouTuber who is a pretty popular YouTuber. And he said something, this was probably six months to a year ago in one of his videos, or maybe I just watched it then. I don't remember the exact date. It's not really that important. But he said... Go ahead and list it because everything sells eventually. So the idea is that everything sells, so why not go ahead and list those items, which the corollary to that would be, well, if you're going to list an item because it sells, then maybe you should buy the item in the first place, right? You obviously can't list it if you don't own it. So those two kind of go hand in hand, but the basic statement is everything sells, so why not go ahead, buy the item, and list the item. So I want to talk about this statement and some things you need to think about in this concept of everything sells. So let's imagine for a moment that we had a crystal ball, and we could use this crystal ball to see into the future. And in this future, we could see what happens with all of our items that we have listed on our e-commerce platforms or whether it be Craigslist or Barrage Sale, Offer Up, wherever it is you're selling, however you're selling, in your store, if you have a physical location, you can take this crystal ball and you can see exactly when your items are going to sell. And you know, once you list an item, I know this item is going to sell in a week, I know this item is going to sell in two weeks. I know this item is going to sell in a month, and so on. That would be a great crystal ball to have. That would be an awesome. That would be an awesome tool, right? So let's take that hypothetical example and let's imagine that you have an item that you are going to buy for ten dollars, and you're going to sell this item for thirty dollars. Decent profit, right? A three x on your investment. But now let's imagine that we use our crystal ball. And we see that, yes, this item will in fact sell, but it's going to sell 100 years from now. 100 years from now. Would you still list that item? Would you have still bought that item? Because, yes, the item will sell, but 100 years from now, chances are you won't be here, and neither will I. So it won't do us any good. Now, that's an extreme example and extreme analogy, but you have to remember that items have a theoretical sell time. And what I mean by that is, if you go onto the major e-commerce platforms, whether it be eBay or Amazon, <clears throat> you can see how long items take to sell in general, because you can look at, you could go today and you can look at how many items are listed Let's say, let's say it's iPhones on eBay, and let's say there's a thousand of them listed of the same model, same color, same memory, and what what have you. And then we look a third a month from now, and we see how many of them have sold. Now some of them will be shorter listings, but overall, maybe seven and ten day listings. But overall, we'll have a picture of all right. If there was a thousand listed. And then in 30 days, there's only 700 still listed. We know that about 30% of them sold in that time frame. You can do that with any item that you're going to sell if there's, any, if there's a history on it, unless it's very, very unique or just hasn't been listed for a long time on an e-commerce platform. So you have available to you information which will let you figure out, give you a crystal ball, so to speak, into how long your item is going to take. And if your item is going to take an extraordinary length of time to sell, you have to take that into account because that brings us to point number two, which any time that an item sits for a long time or any length of time, really, it ties up our capital, which that 
actually ties our hands uh, some, somewhat. Think about it this way. Every month you're turning items in your inventory, you're buying, you're selling items or money's coming back into your accounts and you take that money and you're buying new items the next month. Now this is really happening on a daily if not an hourly basis for a lot of us. But ultimately you have to keep turning items to keep capital coming back into your business unless you've got some outside source. So you have to think about the amount of time when you list an item before you get your capital back. For instance, if I said to you, I'm going to give you an item that you can buy for $1 and you are going to make $1,000. You would say on face value, that's a good deal, but I haven't told you all the terms, have you? Going back to our first point, if it took you 100 years to sell that item, it's still not a very good deal, right? Now let's take Another, let's take that example and look at our buy cost is more expensive. Let's say that I give you an item that's going to cost you $900 and you're going to make $1,000. All right, well, that's $100. That's $100 profit. Let's say it's $100 profit after expenses. And let's say that I'm going to tell you that that item is going to sell in three months. Are you willing to tie up $900 of your capital? to make a $100 profit three months from now? Some of you may say yes. For a lot of us as resellers, $900 would be a good chunk of capital and we may not want to tie that up for that period of time. Um, so tying up your capital is another part of this everything sells idea. You have to consider when you get that money back out because you've got to turn that capital into you know, paying the expenses of your business and putting it back into your business to buy more items. And you need to have that, that capital coming back to you on a timely manner. And you can't tie up too much of it for um, too long. So those two kind of go hand in hand, the first, the first two. And then the last part of this statement about everything sells is the price. Price makes, makes all the difference in the world. If I told you I'm going to give you an item for $10 and you can sell it for $9, you would say, well, that doesn't make any sense, right? But what if I said I give you an item for $10 and you can sell it for $11? You know, that's tying up a significant portion of capital in relation to the prices item for the amount of profit you're going to get. A $1 profit on a on something that's going to cost you nine dollars is not very good so the price at which you sell something matters it's not enough to just say hey it's going to sell again if you buy something for ten dollars and you can sell it for 30 in a timely manner you probably would do that on the other hand if you can only sell it for 14 now time really becomes a factor so see all three of these factors the time, um, the amount, and the amount of capital we've got to tie up, they all work hand in hand in this equation. How long and for how much capital will it take you to make how much profit? That's really what it boils down to. So you've always got to be thinking about, and I know I do in my business all the time, how much capital am I going to have to put into these items and when will I get my money back out and how much will it be? Because all three of those things sort of have to work in tandem for something to be worth buying and, and listing. If one of, those, one of those areas is way out of whack and doesn't make sense with my business model, then I'm probably not going to buy the item. So going back to our original subject, our original topic was everything sells. So just buy it listed. Well, Everything probably does sell in a theoretical world, but it doesn't matter because it's not just a matter of does everything sell. It's a matter of what can we get it for? How long are we going to have to have it listed so before we can get our capital back? And how much are we going to make on it? And the combination of those three things creates a formula for buying items. Um, it's kind of beyond the scope of this volume to go into the scope of this video to go into what that formula should look like. And honestly, each of you may have different business models that are going to change what that should look like. I know it's different for me. Um, 
I am very capital risk adverse. I don't want to risk lots of capital at any one time unless I could be guaranteed of turning it really, really quickly. And those opportunities do come along, but they're not as common. For others of you, you may be okay tying up significant portions of your capital for a significant portion of time for even a minuscule profit. There's nothing wrong with that. But you have to ask the question, and the question is, and is an item going to sell? It's when's it going to sell, how much I'm going to get out of it, and how long is my money going to be tied up in it? Those are the, the questions you need to really ask. So I think we can say that everything sells, while it may be fact, the premise of that statement indicates that we need to think about other factors that really matter a lot more instead of just, well, will it sell? Because it's really not that simple. As in most things in life, the devil is in the details, right? And reselling is no different, especially with this subject of everything sells. So I hope that video was helpful for you. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to Prof Sales. So you'll get each and every one of my videos. Um, also, please, please, please leave me feedback. I try to answer every comment. If you have a specific subject that you would like to see um, a video from me on, please leave it in the comments below. And I will do my best to accommodate you if I can, if I know anything about it. And if I don't, then I'll try to find out. <laughs> um, so until next time, this is Prof Sales saying good sales to you.